I believe it was a free and fair election and that you lost. You that, don't really believe that's that. That's my belief. All right, well, then you're How a fool. Welcome to Watch Mojo. And today we're counting down 10 of Pierce Morgan's most heated, argumentative, and viral interviews. You just like that you won The Apprentice and you have a famous friend, mate. Number 10, Bassem Youssef. It's rare that somebody is actually able to convince Morgan not to interrupt them, as interrupting is one of Morgan's most common interview strategies. Listen, this question of proportionality is one that... No, 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 answer my question! I've been answering your question, you answer mine! But Egyptian comedian Bassem Youssef almost managed this. Yusuf was on Uncensored to talk to Morgan about the Israel-Hamas war, as an alternate voice to some of the other pundits Morgan had had on his show, Ben Shapiro and Ron DeSantis among them. It's going to be the headlines tomorrow. Piers really? Morgan, no, not, Israel is ISIS. Lots only, of ISIS. Only amongst people who weren't listening. Yusuf took particular aim at Shapiro and DeSantis for certain claims made about Palestinians during the conflict, but got increasingly frustrated with Morgan not answering his questions about Israel's response. Right, you look him. at Israel as Superman, but they're really homelanders. Bassem. Well, like, they are like, they're, you, you, they are shooting Bassem, fish I want to say in a barrel, thing. and they are annoyed with the splashes. The interview went massively viral, and Morgan was clearly on the back foot this time. Number nine, the care minister. The Daily, I'm, gonna t I'm, sh I'm showing viewers a Daily Mail front page. Okay. I don't know why you're laughing. Why are you laughing? Though Morgan often gets involved with political issues in the U.S., we can't forget that he has worked predominantly in the British media. This interview was with a British member of Parliament, the care minister, Helen Waitley, back in the early days of the pandemic. Care home deaths in the U.K. were not being properly recorded at the time, less than a month into the events. Nor were care home residents or workers being tested, leading to huge losses of life. Is it yes, true I that 4,000 people... Why are you laughing? I'm coming to ask you a question, but I, I'm not... I'm, it's what, what do you find funny about, about this? But Morgan was furious when Waitley kept laughing during the interview, not taking the tragic events as seriously as he thought she should. Because of Morgan's harsh questioning, the British government had an unofficial boycott of Good Morning Britain in order to avoid him. Yesterday, I asked her a simple question. How many health workers and care workers have died from coronavirus? Do you know the answer? Number eight, quitting his show. He wasn't really interviewing anybody here, but still got into a huge argument with the show's weatherman. I understand that you don't like Meghan Markle. You've made it so clear a number of times on this program. An argument so infamously heated that it led to Morgan storming off set, and later that day, announcing that he was quitting Good Morning Britain entirely. As he loved to point out, he was the reason GMB got sky-high ratings during his tenure. Okay. I'm done with this. No, no, no. Sorry. No. Oh, Sorry. So, do you know what? That's pathetic. You can trash me, mate, but not my no, own No, 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 no. See you later. The crux of the argument between Morgan and Alex Beresford was Beresford calling him out publicly for his nonstop rants about Meghan Markle. Morgan talks a big game about wanting to debate issues he doesn't agree with, but not this time, apparently, leading to many of his critics calling him a hypocrite. Sorry, can't this do this. This is absolutely diabolical behaviour. Number seven, the dating expert. You know, telling women that you're potentially going to date, that they're entitled, overweight and moan all the time. I wasn't telling them that at the not, time, obviously. Self-styled dating expert Richard La Ruina appeared on GMB in 2017 to argue that English women are all overweight and entitled. While Susanna strikes a calm and rational tone, Morgan immediately goes in with both feet on his guest. And for once, we were cheering for him. Your mother's English, right? Yes, she is. So does she also qualify as unattractive, stupid, entitled, and the rest of it, or is she an exception? Asked to give his opinion on the women around the desk, La Ruina quickly starts to backtrack. No, no, let's hear, let's hear like you be brutally sure. honest. Well, I, I don't, I don't want I mean, to be baited into insulting. You're full of, you're full of this. You've I've got, got three respect women. For, I've got respect for the women You've got here. no respect for English personal. women. And as the attacks rain in from all sides, it's left to Morgan to put the final nail in this guy's coffin. I think you are right to seek your future in Russia because I think the chances of you, you ever having lost? sex in this country again <laughs> are zero. Number six, Just Stop Oil. Following the high-profile attack on a Van Gogh painting in the UK by Just Stop Oil campaigners, Morgan was quick to get some of them on the show. You can't get cheaper than free, all right, okay? Renewables are nine times cheaper than fossil renewables fuels. Renewables are not free. They we spend 15 oh billion God. subsidizing renewables in this country. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we, right. we spend 236 million pounds a week you right. subsidizing, no right. time out, subsidizing. Time out. Indeed, more than once he's had them on there when their controversial protests have attracted attention. 
It's a volatile issue, that's for sure, and people on all sides came across badly in these on-screen debates. I'm really getting against your methodology. And but I've it had works, a, doesn't it? I don't and think it, it opens, does. Op there were explosive arguments that Morgan had to intervene in because they were way too rowdy. But then the conversation continued to get out of hand with everybody talking over each other and refusing to let the other side get a word in edgewise. You're a journalist. You, no, you've done your research. Don't, you know this. Let me finish. We what? wouldn't be on here if, the, if well, this, this disruption hadn't happened. Let me answer. Number five, Women's March. It's not freedom of speech to say you want to blow up the White House. That is a direct threat against no. the life of the president. In January 2017, coordinated marches took place worldwide in support of various policies, including women's rights. After Morgan dismissed the protests as, quote, a mass hissy fit by, quote, rabid feminists, sparks were inevitably going to fly at this debate about the event's objectives. No, no you just want to keep talking no, and don't want to allow a man I'm to have his say. <laughs> Instead of listening to his guests, Morgan spends most of his time defending Donald Trump and is eventually taken down a peg for disrespect. You know, there's one thing that um, women in this country have to deal with every day, which is everyday sexism. And being interrupted constantly is one of the ways that that comes to light. And just when you thought things couldn't get more awkward, Morgan makes this ill-advised suggestion. Should we end <laughs> group hug? No, <laughs> thanks. Uh, no uh, thanks. Number four, the gun debate. What can possibly justify anyone being able to buy 42 weapons, many of which were high-powered semi-automatic rifles? As a vocal critic of America's gun laws, Pierce Morgan frequently clashes with pro-gun campaigners. In a discussion about the same mass shootings that Mariah Carey was quizzed on, American Dan Roberts infuriated Morgan with his response to the tragedy. How can any of this make sense, Dan? What are you going to Here's, do about it? It was a bruising encounter, with the two men trading blows as they argue over how guns can be bought in the U.S. when Kinder Surprise Eggs are supposedly banned for the risk they pose to children. Don't laugh, Dan. It's not funny. 600 people got shot. No, it shot. is funny. Your example is ridiculous. Right. Number three, Trump's travel ban. She wouldn't have a Muslim ban. They, they wouldn't have a Muslim ban. Be, they wouldn't be the feuding with everybody in the world. Never... While on Real Time with Bill Maher in 2017, the conversation turned to presidential candidate Hillary Clinton. Morgan was, as usual, quick to jump to Donald Trump's defense, though this put him at odds with Australian comedian Jim Jeffries, who was also on the panel. Specifically, they were talking about Trump's attempts to ban Muslims from entering the United States with his highly controversial executive order. Oh, this is a talk about the hysteria I'm talking about. 85% of the world's Muslims are allowed into the country. You, Morgan said that the ban was being misrepresented and that most Muslims in the world would still be able to get into America, while Jeffries was quick to embarrass Morgan by drawing comparisons to Nazi Germany. That is the exact... Ridiculous, hysterical, over-the-top nonsense. If people that is got hysterical in Germany, like you, right away. Ridiculous. Number two, Alex Jones. Pierce Morgan has clashed with conspiracy theorist Alex Jones many times in the past, largely because Morgan is in favor of gun control in contrast to Jones's pro-gun stance. You sent me a list of topics. Let me finish. You sent me a list of topics. I'm going to come to I those. I said I'd come on, and one of them is Sandy Hook. I'm on for an hour. Let's talk about the Davos group. Yes. Let's talk about the We're war in Ukraine. To to other... Let's talk about internet censorship. Alex. The interview revolved around the tragedy at Sandy Hook, which Alex Jones has notoriously lied about so extensively that he was sued by the victim's parents for defamation. The total damages Jones has been ordered to pay in the lawsuits now come to $1 billion. If I deserve to die for questioning a mass shooting, then what happens to the big companies that sold these poison shots that weren't approved and weren't safe and didn't Here's my them? question. But Jones didn't like being asked about Sandy Hook again and furiously demanded Morgan change the subject to something else, like his vaccine conspiracies or the book he was selling at the time. One of the no, we, uh, it's no, the there reason, was no marketing. It's the reason. You know what I make millions of dollars off of? It's my the number reason. One book it's the on the reason new, on it's the, the reason selling Elon. stage before we continue be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos you have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them if you're on your phone make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications number one donald trump for years, Morgan has boasted about his supposed close relationship with former U.S. President Donald Trump, and as such, an interview with Trump was aired as the very first episode of Uncensored. Putin uses the N-word. I call it the N-word. He uses the N-word, the nuclear word, mm. all the time. That's a no-no. You're not supposed to do that. It was promoted relentlessly, with clickbait clips of Trump apparently storming out of the room circulating online. 
In the end, it was far less dramatic. Though Morgan still persuaded Trump to broach topics like Meghan Markle in the same breath as Vladimir Putin. I'm so. not a fan of Meghan. Yeah. I'm not a fan, and I wasn't right from the beginning. Sexy. I think poor Harry is being led around by his nose. Trump retaliated, however, by saying the interview had gone on for ages and the whole clip was edited to be misleading to the viewers. So what'd you and do instead about of, excuse me, it's a yeah, co little complicated. I'm sorry. Though he didn't actually storm off, Morgan and Trump still had plenty of disagreements. Be sure to let us know in the comments what you think of Pierce Morgan. I believe it was a free and fair election and that you lost. You that, don't really believe that. That's my belief. All right. Well, then you're How, a fool. However, then you're a fool. maybe I am a fool. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.